So good day everyone. Um, <laughs> for today I'm going to show you uh, basic hand signals and flag signals for volleyball as our project for physical education grade 10. And by the way, I'm James Russell and Nicole from grade 10 St. Michael. Let's start. <laughs> we will start with the basic hand signals for volleyball. This one is called authorization to serve. So you will just simply uh, point your arm or hand to the team that is authorized to serve like this. And then you will put your arm and hand like this. Uh, same goes here. If the team here is authorized to serve, then you will point your arm and hand here and do it like this. Next um, hand signal, it is called team to serve. You will just uh, point your arm and hand to the team that is going to serve like this. And if the team here is uh, going to serve, you will just point your For the change court hand signal, you will do your arms like this and simply do this. If the two teams are going to change court already. For the time out, you will uh, point your arm and hand to the team that is requesting the time out like this and do it like this. Same goes to the other side, the other team. You will point your hand and arm to the other team and do it like this. For a particular player to be substituted, you need to do the hand signal like this and it is called substitution. For the next part of hand signals, we will be using two cards which is colored as red and yellow. Misconduct warning. A referee will raise this this yellow card if he or she saw a particular player displaying an unethical um, attitude while playing the game. Uh, a referee will raise a red card if it's a misconduct penalty already. That particular player will receive a penalty if he or she was uh, saw by a referee displaying another an ethical attitude towards the game. This one is called expulsion. If the particular player was seen again doing that an ethical, another an ethical attitude while playing the game, will be pulled out of the game and will never play at the particular game again. Take note, only the particular game. Disqualification. Uh, it will be held like this by the referee holding with separate hands. The particular player can't play anymore on that particular cup or tournament. Ball not pause. You will uh, just simply put your hand down and raise it to your arm level. This is called ball not pause. For the next um, hand signal, so we will just display it like this. And it is called delay in service. This is called whenever a player takes too much time on tossing the ball, for his or her service. For the next hand signal, we will be using our arms and hands and form it like this. See this? This one is called blocking fault. Uh, that will be used if uh, there is fault in blocking beyond the net or just a fault in the block. This one is called positional or rotational fault. And it is like this. If it is ball in, you will point at the ball that was inside. With the ball out, you will uh, display your arms like this, pointing at the ball out and lift it up. So it goes here. For the lifting, you will use a particular arm. So you will do it like this and then raise it up. For the next hand signal, this will be called double hits. If the fingers displayed are four, then it will be four hits. For the hand signal called as touch net, the referee will display it like this. Like this or to the net. For blocking beyond the net, it will be called it will be also called as overreach. It will be like this. Or to the other one. For the hand signal called as attack hit fault, you will just raise a arm, an arm, and do it like this. For the hand signal called as stepping on the line, 
He will just simply point at the line that was stepped on by the player. That ball, uh, a referee will play, will display his or her hands like this. For the hand signal called as check ball, uh, the referee will do a hand signal like this. To the other one, we'll be using the cards again, um, either of the two cards. And this, this move is called as delaying the game. If something the location already changed because we're going to use our flags already. Uh, we will be already using our flags. This one will be called as ball in by the line judges. And point it on the line like this. For the ball out, you will simply raise your flag. Like that. <laughs> For the... Um, Ball touch, you will simply hold your flag like this and put your other palm on the top. And this will be called as crossing spaces on outside objects or foot and foot folds. Like that. And wave your flag like this. With the last flag signal, it will be called as judgment impossible. You will just um, put your arms like in your chest and do a cross like this. Other way too. It will work the other way. Now guys, we're done with our hand basic volleyball hand signals and flag signals. I hope you guys learned a lot from me and you, you guys can use it for your future volleyball, volleyball uh, plays. So, thank you for watching this video and I hope you leave a thumbs up, a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Please click the share button and the subscribe button.